Jam. Presented by 1-800-COLLECT. Monster Trucks. Nearly 10,000 screaming fans pack into the Wawa Coliseum in Beaumont, Texas to see five of the long game's toughest monster trucks battle it out in a racing and freestyle competition where the introductions even had the fans on their feet. Up first was the head-to-head -head racing competition in a Chicago-style course featuring Goldberg vs. Mr. Destruction in the first round. Mr. Destruction was hot all night. Goldberg, having trouble in the turns, gave an easy win to Jack Meredith in Mr. Destruction. Even then, Goldberg somersaulting and giving the fans a show, even in defeat. The next race featured Black Stallion and Wild Thing in a relatively even matchup. Black Stallion struggled in the turns, but Wild Thing, one tiring on the last jump, gave the victory to Broken Machine in his machine. Mr. Destruction went on to face points champion Danny Werewolf and Executioner. A rematch in the final race from Mesa Park. This was a very tough matchup for both trucks, except there was no change in the result this time, as Danny Werewolf managed the corners much better and went with the victory to the finals. Our final race saw Black Stallion jump in the line on Executioner, except he once again struggled in the turns, giving Danny Werewolf an easy victory and yet another racing win to add to his back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back resume. After the monster had finished racing, the Beaumont, Texas fans were able to enjoy some Pro Stadium Truck time trials as Roy Campbell's On the Edge laid down a blistering performance to start things off with a 27.48. Next was Ralph Massey and Cajun Spice also laying down another good run, but a few hiccups stopped him in his tracks along the way and gave him a very disappointing time of 33.57. Jeff Boy and the ever-powerful Monster Patrol was next, and laid down what looked like a run to take the lead, but somehow managed to miss catching on the edge by two tenths of a second. Points leader Thomas Ray White in Twister 3 was next, laying down a fantastic run, flying into the turn at high speeds, and after a rough ride was finally able to dethrone Rory Campbell with a 26.12. At last was Darren Fry and Little Beast, who had a promising run to start, but unfortunately broke the wheel off his truck in the end of his night early with a DNF. Here we see the top five points overall this season with Thomas Ray White running away with the competition at 36, followed by Rory Campbell, Ralph Massey, and Jeff Boy, respectively fighting over the second place position, Darren Fry trailing in fifth place with a 12. Freestyle. It was the moment the Beaumont fans had been waiting for all night as the track crew prepped the Wawa Coliseum for Monster Truck Freestyle. Up first was James YT and Wild Thing starting off his run with some major air, sending his truck off the car stack and nose diving right in front of the jammer. The official shut him off and decided that he was safe to go, attacking the jammer he had just landed on, but unfortunately hit the turner too hard and rolled the truck over early before a swerve of 16. Up next was Cora, Solari, and Goldberg, who had already wowed the fans earlier with that somersault and racing. They marched over this Wawa Coliseum track like a soldier, getting even bigger air than Wild Thing did off the same jump. Unfortunately, the limit space of the Coliseum proved to be too much for Goldberg to handle, as they smashed those first into the jammer, trying to save it, but did take the lead with a score of an 18. Up next was racing runner-up Broken Machine and Black Stallion, who started off his run promising, but after hitting the jammer at an awkward angle, sent his truck spiraling into the air, onto the protective barricade, ending his night early with a swerve of 12. After that was Mr. Destruction and Jack Meredith, a freestyle heat seeker this season, attacking everything on the track and cutting in every which way, giving the fans their first set of cyclones to enjoy for the night, and even giving our cameraman a scare with a head-on charge toward the wall. As exciting as the run was, the limited space would yet again prove to be a factor in this competition, as Mr. Destruction smashed the roof of this truck onto the overhang of the Wawa Coliseum, but secured the lead with a 20. Out last was points leader Danny Werewolf and Executioner, fresh off his racing win from earlier in the night, looking to secure his first double down of the season. His run started off timid with a few choice hits over the jammer, making sure not to roll the truck over too early. After a second hand of the jammer, he lined up in reverse to hit it one more time. It did something that nobody expected, performing a reverse somersault, flipping him back onto all four tires. The Coliseum was stunned but on their feet. The officials let Danny turn his truck back on, only for him to slip the truck back over in reverse in a move that he would not recover from, yet gain the victory with a score of a 23, wowing the Beaumont, Texas fans. Needless to say, those in attendance got the freestyle show of a lifetime with every truck wrecking in one way or another.
as we look at the top five freestyle swords of the night. The judges were very conservative with handing out points, yet Executioner's reverse front flip secured him the victory. Mr. Destruction falling with a 20, Goldberg with an 18, Wild Thing with a 16, Black Stallion with a 12. It will definitely be a tough weekend at the repair shop for all drivers involved. Inside Monster Jam.